Okay, multiplicative inverses are the same as reciprocals. Stay, give me 30 seconds to make my case. Um, this is all I'm saying to you. This is what you learned in algebra. Uh, in algebra 1, you learned, well, that 5x is equal to 20. Let's just do this. So I, so I still got 20 seconds. 5x plus 1 is equal to 26. Yeah? So, of course, we all know this, and we're going to do this really quick, and we're like, okay, well, we're going to add negative 1 or subtract 1 from each side, and we're going to get 5x equals 25. And then next thing you're going to do is what? And I hear you all saying, we're going to divide. We're going to divide by both sides by 5. And you're absolutely right. So you get x is equal to 5, and you're real happy. Um, and I'm with you on that. I, I truly am. But then what happens if you try to use that same rule here? In, this, in the second example, you have uh, one-third x is equal to 27. Sure, it's equal to 27. And then using the same logic you used last time, you said, well, it's divided by one-third, and it's divide this by one-third. And if you're thinking, oh, my God, this just fell apart, this is wrong, it's actually right. It's just not helpful. It's not helpful at all. Um, if you know the rules for complex fractions, you know that this works out perfectly the way, this way, if you knew what to do next. What I'm saying to you instead is this. In this case, instead of dividing by a third, you would multiply by a reciprocal, and a reciprocal would be to take a number, one over three, right? So if you don't want to move this to one over three over here, one over three, and then multiply by its reciprocal, and the reciprocal would be this, just to flip that upside down and take, this three is this one, this division bar is that one, and this, right? Uh, they're not equal, but to take its reciprocal would be to do this. And we know we have the multiplicative rule of equality for algebra, which means that if we multiply one side of an equation by a number, we have to multiply the other side of the equation by the same number unless that number is one. So look, what would happen if I did this? If I multiplied by the reciprocal here, I'd get three over one. Here, I'd multiply this up by three over one. I'm just gonna rationalize this 27 so you can see it better. But look at this, 3 times 1 is 3, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times x is x, isn't it? And then 3 times 27 is 81, and that's a true solution, isn't it? So what I'm saying to you here is sometimes you're not able, to, in this case, where they have whole numbers out here, we're able to just divide, but sometimes when we have a fractional value, it's not as easy to divide, and when that's true, just multiply by the reciprocal. I'd like you to do a little experiment with me right now, if you don't mind, just to make a point about this. Take any fraction you want. Uh, not including zero, because zero gets kind of hairy, but other than zero, take any fraction you want. And I heard somebody out there say two-sevenths. So two-sevenths. And all I'm asking you to do now is multiply two-sevenths by its reciprocal. And its reciprocal, if you remember, its reciprocal is just switch these places. So this is two over seven. Now I want you to multiply by seven over two. And you get 14 over 14, which is equal to one, isn't it? And we know that one is the multiplicative identity. So that's how we're going to use this reciprocal or multiplicative uh, inverse idea here. So tell me this. How would you solve this problem now using inverses? And let's see if we have this. And if we do, let's, we'll move on to something else. Let's say now that we have uh, 5 thirds x is equal to, I don't know, 15, I guess. Is equal to 15. Right? Are we going to divide this side? Are we going to do... 5 thirds divided by 5 thirds, and then 15 divided by 5 thirds, or is there a better way? And here's my little clue for you, right? I'm going to take the reciprocal of this. So this 3 comes up here, 3 over 5, right? And this one will be 3 over 5. Uh, the only reason I rationalize or I turn this into a fraction is just because visually it's easier for me. You don't have to do it that way, but this is what I'm going to do. And then look, 3 times 5 is 15. Fif uh, 5 times 3 is 15. We have 15 over 15, right? So we end up with 15 over 15 times x is equal to 45 over 5, which I think is 9, isn't it? But what's 15 over 15? 1, right? This is equal to 1. And 1 times x is x, isn't it? So 45 over 5 is 9, all right? All right. So how this rule kind of works is this, just to have it said, is if you take a, a non-zero fraction and you say a over b, and you want its reciprocal, if you multiply it by its reciprocal, b over a, you'll always get one. And we use this strategy here when we're trying to get rid of the coefficient of a variable. 
All right? So I hope that was helpful. And if you're sitting there again and you're saying, hey, I'm in calculus, I know, and sometimes we forget. So let's try to work that out. And please subscribe to my page.